केमिकल बाइंडिंग केमिकल बाइंडिंग चैप्टर केमिकल बाइंडिंग चैप्टर इन दिस चैप्टर नेक्स्ट हेडिंग इज अ कोवैलेंट बॉन्ड व्हिच बॉन्ड कोवैलेंट बॉन्ड कोवैलेंट बॉन्ड कोवैलेंट बॉन्ड कोवैलेंट बॉन्ड जीएन लेविस जीएन लेविस जीएन लेविस जीएन लेविस इन 19 16 जीएन लेविस इन 1916 पुट फॉरवर्ड अ थ्योरी दैट टू सिमिलर आर डिसिमिलर एटम दैट टू सिमिलर आर डिसिमिलर एटम अचीव इनर्ट गैस कॉन्फिगरेशन एक्टेड ड्यू टू बाय शेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन ड्यू टू बाय शेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन द कंपाउंड फॉर्म गेन स्टेबिलिटी द बॉन्ड दस फॉर्म बाय शेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन वाज नेम्ड बाय Langmuir in 1923 as a covalent bond. As a covalent bond, the bond thus formed by sharing of electro electrons was named by Langmuir in 1923 as covalent bond. And such type of covalent bond form are called covalent compounds. There is far in potential energy of the system. Covalent bond and form by sharing of electrons. between two atoms in the bond same types of atoms are two different types of non metals from covalent bond thus bonds h2 h2 n2 cl2 o2 f2 br2 i2 hcl hcl hbr hi H I H two N S three and C H four and C H four and so on are covalent bond. Are covalent bond. Hence, hence covalent bond is defined defined as the bond formed by the sharing the bond bond formed formed by the sharing the sharing the bond formed by the sharing of electrons sharing of electrons sharing of electrons and the compounds thus and the compounds and the compounds compounds thus and the compounds thus formed again stability thus formed Formed again, again stability, stability, stability. Okay. A covalent bond is expressed in the formula by placing dash, by place placing dash, dash between the atoms bonded together. Between the atoms bonded together. Covalent bond may be single covalent bond, double covalent bond, and a triple covalent bond. There are three types of bond: single covalent bond, double covalent bond, and a triple covalent bond. Single covalent bond, double covalent bond, and triple covalent bond. And triple covalent bond, double co double and triple covalent bond is uh, also known as a uh, Also known as multiple, multiple covalent bond, multiple covalent bond, multiple covalent covalent bond. Okay, single covalent bonds are formed by sharing of one electron. Single covalent bonds is formed by sharing, sharing, sharing one electron pair, one electrons, one electrons pair. Pair, pair. Single covalent bond. Single covalent bond is a single covalent bond are are sharing one electron pair between the bonded atom. Between the between the bonded atom. Bonded bonded atom. Between the bonded atom. It is a denoted by a single line. It is denoted by a single line. 
I have an example. Uh, we will be talking about example as to as to O F to C L to E T C C L to E T C. Double and triple covalent bond are formed. Double and uh, double and uh, triple covalent bond. Double and triple covalent bond are formed when the atoms bonded together share two or three electrons. Two or three. Two or three electrons pairs. Electrons pairs. Electrons pairs. Electrons pairs. A double covalent bond is represented by double dash. Double covalent bond is represented by double dash line. Example, example O double bond O. O double bond O. Triple bond is represented by triple dash line. Triple dash lines between bonded atoms. As an example, if you will be talking about the example, then nitrogen bonded nitrogen. There are three bond, triple bondage present between the nitrogen atoms. Okay. Ex examples. Formula of H2 molecules. First, formation of H2 molecules. Formation. Formation of H2 molecules. Molecules. Formation of H2 molecules. H1 equal to 1S1. 1S, sorry, 1S1. It has one electron. It has one electron shorter than the stable helium gas configuration. Helium gas configuration it can gain this electron by mutual sharing of one electron with another H atom with another H atom H atom in this way each H atom completes its dute and gains helium gas configuration the two H atoms binds together by a single covalent bond and achieve stable inert gas configuration. As the example of uh, H atom plus H atom plus H atom is stands to an uh, arrow mark of H H electron then the Two electrons sharing. Two electrons. Oh, sorry. One electron. One pair electron sharing. One pair electron sharing. Okay. R H bond H single covalent bond. Single covalent single covalent bond. Single covalent bond. Okay. Formation of chlorine. Formation of chlorine. Second, formation of chlorine. Formation of chlorine. As a, each chlorine has seven valence electron. Each chlorine has seven valence electron. Cl17 equal to 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. 3p5. Each chlorine atom shares one electron. Each chlorine atom, this is the chlorine. And uh, this is the chlorine, chlorine atom. 2, 2, 4, 2, 6, 1, 7. 2, 2, 4, 2, 6, 1, 7. One electron shared, one electron, okay? One electron. That's the, uh, each chlorine atom shares one electron. Each chlorine atom shares one electron shares one electrons and uh, one electrons each chlorine shares one electron shares one electron one electrons he shared uh, electrons and uh, helium he shared pairs of electrons is equally held is equally held by both he shared pairs of electrons is equally held by both 
Each chlorine atom acquires each chlorine atom acquires octet configuration by sharing of electron its outermost orbit. How to two to four to six one seven and one another chlorine atom electron eight. And uh, this chlorine electron two to four to six one seven and one electron of this chlorine is eight. Okay. Then. Uh, each uh, chlorine atom requires octet configuration by sharing a electron its outermost orbit. Its outermost orbit as uh, are chlorine single bond chlorine. Chlorine single bond chlorine because only one pair of electron is sharing between these two, two chlorine atom. Okay. So single bond is present here. Okay. Third. Third is a formation of oxygen molecules. Formation of oxygen molecules. Formation of oxygen molecules. Formation of oxygen molecules. At uh, oxygen O8 is a uh, 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. Oxygen. Oxygen 2, 2, 4, 2, 6. Plus oxygen two 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 four two six. Then uh, sharing of uh, two pair electrons. Sharing of two pair electron two to four to six to eight and two to four to six for uh, complete the octet required two electrons. So two electron is shared of the atom, another oxygen, oxygen atom, okay? Then uh, R, O, oxygen, double bond of sharing, double bond of sharing and uh, so. In this way double bond covalent is found between two oxygen atom, between two oxygen atom, okay? between two oxygen atoms, okay? Thank you. And next is a formation of nitrogen molecule. Next is formation of nitrogen molecule. Next is formation of nitrogen molecule. One minute. Next is formation of nitrogen molecules. N2. Fourth is N2. N2 nitrogen molecules. But, uh, there are five valence electrons in the outermost orbit of the nitrogen. N7 aromatograph 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. 3 to 5. 3 to 5. There are five valence electrons in the outermost orbit of nitrogen. Hence, it requires three electrons to achieve nearest stable inert gas configuration like Neon configuration like neon in the formation of N2 molecules, each N shares three electrons to achieve octet. How to nitrogen? Nitrogen plus one electron, two, three, four, five. In outermost orbit, five electron is present here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Then sharing of a three electrons. In the formation of N2 molecules, each nitrogen shares three electrons. Each nitrogen shares three electrons. Each nitrogen shares three electrons. Three electrons are complete the octet. Okay? Uh, three electrons. In the formation of N2 molecules, each N, each nitrogen atom shares three electrons to achieve octet. In N2, three pairs of electrons are shared. In nitrogen, in N2 nitrogen atom, three pairs of electrons are shared. Therefore, N2 has a triple bond. One bond, two bond, three bond. Triple bond show N1, 2. One bond, two bond, three bond. This is known as triple bond. This is known as triple bond. 
and and to each n atoms has only one non bonding pair electrons lone pairs non pair electron lone pair each n nitrogen atom each nitrogen atom has only one non bonding pair electron is no is lone pair is lone pair okay and uh, fourth is a uh, fifth is a uh, fifth is a uh, formation of uh, methane formation of methane gases formation of mes methane gases next is formation of methane gases okay methane gases methane gases therefore uh, therefore uh, valence electrons present in the outermost orbit of carbon each uh, carbon c6 equal to 1s2 2s2 1s2 2s2 2p 2 2p 2 1s2 2s2 2p 2 Two to four to six, and the hydrogen have only one electron, so one yes, one, so one yes, one, and uh, this is the oxygen, only four electrons present, one, two, three, four, plus four H, four H positive, four S positive, aromatic of aromatic of. Carbon has carbon. Carbon has four hydrogen atoms. H, 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 and H. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Carbon is completed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then a carbon has a and a hydrogen. Okay. R R carbon single bond of H single bond of S single bond of S and single bond of H. Okay. Each uh, unpaired electrons of carbon atom shared with four different uh, hydrogen atom. Four different hydrogen atoms. In this way, by sharing of one electron of carbon. In this way, by sharing of one electron of carbon and one electron of hydrogen and one electron of Hydrogen form covalent bond CH. Form covalent bond CH are formed in methane CH four molecules. Both carbon and hydrogen atoms acquire stable configuration in case of carbon octet is complete, where is in case of H dut is complete. Similarly, covalent bonds formed along form among. C C L four C C L four and H three H C N and H two or two hydrogen peroxide can be explained in the following uh, ways. Can be explained in the following ways. Covalent bond is two types. Covalent bond is two types. Covalent covalent bond is a two types. Is a Two types, is it? Two types. Covalent bond is two types. Covalent bond are uh, two types. First is first is polar covalent bond. Polar polar covalent polar covalent bond and uh, second is non-polar covalent bond. Second is non-polar non-polar covalent. Covalent bond. Second is non-polar covalent bond. First, polar covalent bond. First, polar polar covalent bond. Covalent bond. Polar covalent bond. 
is the bond are formed by the combination of two different nonmetals. If the bonds are formed by the combination of two different nonmetals, polarity develops due to difference in the electronegativity. The bonds thus formed as a are polar. If electronegativity difference between two elements is low, polar bond is formed between them. Okay? The force of attraction is stronger than the non-polar covalent compound due to polarity between the bonds. Okay? And the polar covalent bond. If the bonds are formed by combination, if the bonds, if the bonds are formed are formed, if the bonds are formed by the combination, by the combination, combination, by the combination of two different, combination of two different, two different non-metals, two different non-metals, non-metals. Polarity develops due to polarity Polarity develops. Polarity develops due to difference in due to difference due to difference in the electronegativity in the electronegativity electronegativity the bonds thus formed a Polar. The bonds, the bonds, thus, thus, the bonds, thus, formed are polar. Formed are polar, are polar. Okay? If electronegativity difference between two elements, if electronegativity, if electro negativity difference if electronegativity difference between two elements is low between two element element is low is low polar bond is formed between them polar bond is formed found between them. As an example, HCl. HCl. Positive sigma, negative sigma, okay? And HBr. 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 Yes. You sure? HBr. Then, uh, O H H atom plus plus and negative is found. Negative negative. It is it is same, okay? The force of attraction is stronger than the non-polar covalent compound. The force of attraction is stronger than the non-polar covalent compound due to polarity between the bonds, due to polarity between the bonds, due to polarity between the bonds, okay? And uh, non-polar covalent bond. Non-polar covalent covalent bond. Non-polar covalent bond. It is formed by the combination of similar atoms. It is formed by the combination of similar atoms. It is formed. It is formed by the combination. By the combination. Combination. It is formed by the combination of similar atoms. Of similar. Similar atoms. Of similar atoms are element whose are element element whose are element whose are element whose 
आज इंडियन फोर्स इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी जीरो इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी इज जीरो इज जीरो द बॉन्ड इज फाउंड बाय शेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन द बॉन्ड इज फाउंड बाय इज फाउंड बाय द बॉन्ड इज फाउंड बाय शेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन शेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इलेक्ट्रॉन शेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन द एटम इज द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन द एटम इज बिटवीन द एटम इज एटम इज न्यूक्लियस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वन मिनट न्यूक्लियस इलेक्ट्रॉन न्यूक्लियस इलेक्ट्रॉन अट्रैक्शन एंड पेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स अट्रैक्शन एंड पेयरिंग पेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ओके द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इज वीक द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन अट्रैक्शन The force of attraction is weak. Is weak. Weak. As example, H two, C L two, B two, N two, and O two. Okay. Characteristics of covalent compounds. Characteristics of covalent compound. Next heading. Characteristics of covalent compound characteristics of covalent compound okay one minute characteristics of covalent compound characteristics of covalent compound and next is characteristics characteristics of covalent compound covalent compound characteristics of covalent compound okay first physical state first is physical 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 state physical state generally at ntp generally at at ntp नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर प्रेशर जनरली जनरली एट एंटीपी कोवेलेंट कंपाउंड एग्जिस्ट इन लिक्विड एंड गैसियस स्टेट्स कोवेलेंट कंपाउंड कोवेलेंट कंपाउंड कंपाउंड्स कोवेलेंट कंपाउंड्स एग्जिस्ट इन लिक्विड एंड गैसियस एग्जिस्ट एग्जिस्ट इन लिक्विड इन liquid in liquid and and gaseous and gaseous liquid and gaseous state 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 at uh, ntp covalent bond covalent compounds exist in liquid and gaseous state gaseous state but the moles with higher but the moles the but the moles moles with higher molecular weights with a higher with a higher molecular molecular higher molecular weight higher molecular weights also exist in solid state also exist in solid state solid state these compounds consist of uh, discrete molecules which are held together by weak van der waals force these compounds these compounds these compounds consist of this discrete consist of discrete 
consists of discrete molecules, molecules, molecules which are held together by weak, which are held, held together, together by weak, by weak wonder was, wonder was, wonder was force. Wonder was force. Wonder was force. Okay? Example, chlorine gas. Example, Cl2 is a gas. Is a gas. Mole weight. Mole weight 71. Mole weight 71. Okay? Br2 is a liquid. Is a liquid. Is a liquid. Mole Mole weight 160 and uh, iodine is solid and uh, iodine is solid, solid, iodine is solid, M equal to 254, M equal to 254, second is ionization, second is, sorry, isomerism, isomerism, isomerism. A covalent uh, linkage is a rigid and directional. A covalent linkage, a covalent, a covalent linkage, linkage is rigid and directional. Is a rigid and a directional, directional, a rigid and directional. Covalent compound so. Stereosomerism, covalent compound show, 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 stereo, stereo, isomerism, isomerism, okay? And third is solubility, third is solubility, solubility. Third character of covalent compound is solubility. The, they are usually usually soluble in non-ionizing organic solvents and uh, insoluble in polar solvent and water. They are usually they are usually they are usually soluble in soluble in in non-ionizing non ionizing non ionizing organic organic non ionizing organic non ionizing organic solvent solvents and and insoluble insoluble and insoluble in polar solvents in polar solvent in polar solvents and water and uh, water and uh, water they are soluble in they are soluble in soluble in C6H6 C6H6 C6H5N and uh, C2H5OC2 H5, ETC, ETC, okay? And conductivity, fourth is conductivity, conductivity, fourth is conductivity. Compounds formed by covalent bond leakages are non-polar and non-conductor. They do not carry current in either solid, liquid and gaseous state. Compounds formed by covalent linkage, compounds, Compounds formed by covalent, formed by covalent, formed by covalent linkage are linkage are covalent linkage are non-polar, non-polar, non-polar and uh, and uh, non-conductor and uh, non-conductor, non. Conductor, they do not carry current. 
they do not carry carry current they do not carry current in either solid in either solid either solid and gaseous and uh, gaseous and gaseous state gaseous state next is a melting and boiling point it is melting and uh, boiling point boiling point melting and boiling point they have relatively low melting and boiling point they have relatively relatively they have relatively low melting point low melting low melting and uh, boiling and uh, boiling points points boiling points is that they are boil, uh, volatile in nature they are volatile in nature is that they are volatile volatile in nature in nature in nature they consist of discrete molecules which are held together by weak van der waals process as in fusion and evaporation a small amount of energy is required to overcome this weak process due to which they have low melting and boiling points due to which low melting and boiling point these are generally gases liquid and soft solid they are soft easily fusible and volatile these these are soft soft easily 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 fusible 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 and volatile and volatile and for the sixth is chemical reactions chemical reactions chemical reaction this compound show this compound show this compounds so show slow slow chemical reaction slow chemical this compound show slow chemical reaction 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 chemical reaction reaction one bond breaks then the new bond will form one bond bond breaks one bond breaks then the then the new bond new bond will form will form new bond will form okay and uh, next is nature of covalent bond nature of covalent bond nature of covalent bond next is nature of covalent bond one minute nature 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 of covalent bond nature of covalent bond okay nature of covalent bond it is easy to understand that the oppositely charged ions forming and ion bond are held together by electrostatic forces of attraction the nature of force holding the two atoms in a covalent bond is not clear after the development of wave mechanics it was possible to explain the nature of covalent bond two alternative theory were put forward to explain the nature of covalent bond these two theories are first is valence bond or atomic orbital theory first is valence bond or atomic atomic valence bond or atomic orbital orbital atomic orbital atomic orbital theory theory bvt and the second is 
molecular and the second is molecular molecular orbital theory theory m o t m o t okay thanks